All right, motherfuckers, this is Mad So Marks, and I'm coming back with another motherfucking Booyaka Booyaka 619. Booyaka Booyaka, the name of my stadium live video. And today's video is simply titled Rey Mysterio is a legend. Now, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, Rey Mysterio is the nigga who created Dominic Mysterio, and Dom. <sighs> I mean, he's doing okay heel work. I'm not going to sit here and tear Dom down in this video because I haven't seen in the comment section the motherfuckers be bitching and moaning and complaining and put, fucking acting like a bunch of pussy-ass fucking pussies about me talking about fucking Dominic Mysterio. And to be honest with you, listen, I hold him at high standards because you are the fucking son of Rey Mysterio, so you either got it or you don't got it. Look at Brooke Hogan. Look at Nick Hogan. You either got it or you don't got it. Look at Devon Dudley's kids. I mean, they decent, but y'all know the rest. Back to Rey Mysterio. Rey Mysterio is one of the most decorated fucking luchador uh, short guys that has ever been in the wrestling business. Um, you know, he has a lot of history, a lot of Lucha Libre that he's a part of. I personally think some of Rey Mysterio's coldest shit was back in, the, back in the 90s when he was with the fucking Filthy Animals. That shit was just fucking cold. And that shit was hard as hell. And he wear fucking No Limit jerseys and FUBU jerseys and shit. And he always gave a motherfucker a hootie -hoo! That Rey Mysterio was the coldest version of Rey Mysterio. I mean, and then when you kind of like get into early Ruthless Aggression era Rey Mysterio shit, he was cold back then too. Um, he won a couple championships. His first championship, it, it wasn't terrible because you got to sometimes have that storyline of the underdog. You need that storyline. You need the underdog storyline. You need the guy that's small to win, hold the belt for three to four months, and then a big boss comes and takes the belt off of them. You just need that. And also, that is the time during the Eddie Guerrero shit, which... To be honest, I think one of Ray's biggest accomplishments or his his biggest goal that he probably set for himself was to make Eddie Guerrero proud at the end of his career. Uh, and, I, and I really do think that Ray Mysterio ended up doing that shit. Now, here's the thing. We need to pray that Ray Mysterio's daughter is actually good at wrestling because Dom, Dom ain't cutting it, y'all. That's probably the one thing Ray did. I'm just like, Ray, you got to help that boy. That boy's struggling. He doing heel work. He went to Judgment Day. And the storyline between him and Ray is kind of decent. But, listen, as a proud motherfucker who always tell y'all about Dominic Mysterio, something is missing. Something missing. Something is missing with Dominic Mysterio. I don't know if he's not convincing as a heel, because he kind of is. I mean, he has some funny shit that has happened. Like, when they go to fucking Ray's house, or their grandparents' house and they do, like, the Christmas thing or the Thanksgiving thing or whatever the case may be. That's just kind of funny and that's just kind of... It's interesting storylines and it's a good take for WWE to do it like a, a different view or whatever from the normal promo views that they usually have. But I still feel like Dom should have went to NXT. He should have. He should have. But back to Ray. Um... Ray has accomplished a lot of shit, man. He's a tag, former tag team champion, Intercontinental, United States, fucking Royal Rumble winner, heavyweight, WWE champion, cruiserweight champion, light heavyweight champion probably at some point in time. I don't think he had a light heavyweight championship. I think the light heavyweight championship was gone by the time Ray got there. But Ray has done a lot of shit for wrestling. And honestly, there are no small guys that will ever be at, because like Ray is 5'6". Ray's like 5'6", 175 pounds. There will never be a guy that's the size of Rey Mysterio that is as convincing as Rey Mysterio. The dude is just talented. He's just talented. He's the greatest mask of all time. There hasn't been another character that has worn a mask like Rey Mysterio that has been as good as Rey Mysterio. Usually all the guys who come into WWE wearing the mask, at sooner or later they take that bitch off. Because you just, you just can't live up to Rey Mysterio. Dom can't live up to it. Andrade can't live up to it. Um, what's his name? Uh, the Phantasmo, whatever the fuck his name is. He can't live up with, live up to that shit as well. Like, Ray's the greatest mask of all time. And I don't think there will ever be, besides, uh, Sexy Star. 
Because I don't know if you AEW pack smokers know this shit or not. Shout out to the motherfucking AEW pack smokers in the live chat and in the chat. Uh, but Sexy Star got some motherfucking yams on her, boy. And, 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 and listen, 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 listen. When she pinned that girl up in the ring and she swung that booty back, <laughs> boy, I wish I was a fucking ring rope. If I was a ring rope and I would have got some of that booty sweat on my damn shit, I would have been on break. On break. But at the end of the day, Rey Mysterio is a fucking legend. And now he is going into the fucking Hall of Fame. And he deserves it. Even though Ray's career is not over, I think it is dwindling down. Ray is getting older. And he has had a lot of wear and tear to his body. Now, there was times that Ray was not in the best shape. He is in the best shape that, he, that he's been in the past few years. And in the past, I guess we'll say 10 years, he's in the best shape that he's been in. But there was a time Ray was at a dark point, and we we understand it, you know, Eddie, a lot of shit happening. WWE with that fucking bitch Benoit shit. Fuck Chris Benoit. Still fuck Chris Benoit, bitch ass nigga. Fuck, fuck Chris Benoit. I'm gonna go fuck who here and shit. Who like Chris Benoit? If you like Chris Benoit, and you a Chris Benoit fan, and you defend Chris Benoit, fuck you and your mama, bitch. Fuck you. Straight up, I don't give a fuck if you unsubscribe or whatever the subscribe or whatever the fuck you do. Fuck you. If you're a Chris Benoit fan, eat a dick. Eat a barbed wire dick. Eat a dick with fucking poison ivy on it, pussy. Fuck you. But shout out to the AEW packs smokers in the chat. At the end of the fucking day, Rey Mysterio is a goddamn legend. And there will probably never be a guy at that size with that mask that is as good as Rey Mysterio. I don't even think Dom can ever live up to that. Dom is a little bit heavier, a little bit taller. All he really needs is some acting lessons and some mic work. Dom has minimal in-ring work, so that would that would work out for him. I mean, he could jump off the top rope and do tope suicitos like you fucking idiots, you fat fuckers who watch, who watch fucking AEW like. He could do that shit, but at the end of the day, Dom really just needs to... Um, Work on his promo skills. This has been Master Marks. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe, comment. Tell us if you hate us. Tell us if you love us. Tell us if you fuck with Ray Mysterio. Tell us if you think Dom Dominic Mysterio need to go motherfucker do a stint on fucking uh, the Young and the Restless or the Bold and the Beautiful so that motherfucker can get some acting lessons. Fuck Tony Khan. Fuck AEW. Dominic Mysterio, please go get some acting lessons. You almost there, my boy, but you are not yet close. I'm out this bitch.